Hey everyone, this is Throwek and this is another tutorial all about using GIMP to do your own logos and things like that. Now I'm going to show you um, how I do it. doesn't mean it's necessarily the right way to do it, but we're going to give it a go. So the first thing you need to do is let's open Fumble. Um, I want to use this tab for something else. So what we're going to do is go to, we're going to search for an image, so um, I don't know, let's choose a team where I haven't got a um, Rasmus Reptiles. I haven't got a, an image there, I haven't got a logo, so they need a logo, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to put in Lizard. Um, go put Lizard logo. I'm going to search, and I want to search in images, and you've got some here. I'm just going to just show you. It doesn't really matter which one I use at the minute. I'm just going to show you. So that's quite a cool one. Um, oh, I quite like that one as well. That's pretty funky. Um, choices, choices. Let's go for this one here. Right click, and you can copy the image. And then what you need to do is you need a program called GIMP. Um, it's a free download, so all you need to do is look um, online and download it. It's free to use, and it's dead simple for what we're going to do here. So, I'm going to right click, we've copied it, we're going to paste it, and it appears there. Now, what we need to do is, if you if you copied that as it was, what you would have is a um, just a white box with a green lizard in it, and we want to get rid of that background. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click on Tools, we're going to go to selection tools and we're going to go to fuzzy select and that brings out this part now I've highlighted outside the lizard and I'm going to click on delete and it gets rid of it and turns it transparent now if you hold um, shift and um, plus you can zoom in so I'm just going to get rid of some other bits like that but now if I was so inclined and wanted to really tidy it up what I could do is I could zoom in and start going around the edges getting rid of these little bits here, tidying it, but I'm not that bothered about that. I'm happy with that, and what I want is I want rasping at the top and resp reptiles at the bottom. So I'm going to show you another trick here. Um, just make sure your edges have gone as well. Okay, So it's going to be a, look a little bit untidy, because I'm, I'm rushing really to just show you how to do it, uh, just so you don't get bored of the video. Um, and what we're going to do is go to... Um, Call text, it's called. So Google call text, and it will take you to call text graphics generator, and you choose one. Um, I'm going to go for or oh, Starburst. Yeah, let's try that one. So you write what you want. I'm going to go rasping. Oops, can't spell rasping. Come up to the top. I just do this a very quick way. I'm going to. Um, copy image there and then when I go back to GIMP I'm going to edit and paste as layer paste as a new layer and there it is it's already it's already um, highlighted for me so but I, I don't really want it there so I'm gonna have to move it so what I need to do is transform tools and we're gonna move it it's a bit big, so I'm going to need to go to Tools, Transform Tools, and Scale. And this is a bit you can just kind of put it where you want. Rasping. And then I'm going to need to go back here. Reptiles. Right click, copy image, back to GIMP. Right click, edit paste as new layer we've got another one there we're going to click on that one I'm going to move it and scale it happy with that scale I want to go back to this one so I'm going to um, go to my other layer and that's just a bit too big so I want to scale that 
you can mess around with how you want it to look. I'm literally just showing you how to put it on. You can mess around with all the features and stuff, but the most important thing is is to have that background in terms of um, transparency. Now, I'm just going to uh, save it. I'm going to call it RR and I'll save it in my pictures. And then what we need to do is export it. So we're going to export as. Um, just as long as you remember where you save it, export, it's going to be in my pictures, yes, export again, just going to close that down, go to my fumble page, um, you will need to put it in your gallery, so you go to gallery and upload it, um, upload images, I've got quite a few in here, upload files, have to remember where I saved it, in my pictures, um, ooh, can't see it, oh, no music, there we go, it's there, And hopefully we should see it at the bottom. Close window. An admin has to. Um... Ooh, showing you naughty bits there. I'm going to reprove it because I'm an admin. It's my only one there. So we're going to go home. And then go to gallery. The red box should have turned black. There it is. Okay, there it is. Now, I'm going to go to my team. Rasping rect Reptiles. And add image. Takes me straight to my gallery. Boom. Drag it in there. And there it is. Easy. That's your logo done. And when my team plays, that will be on the pitch. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Take care, everybody.